We've got snacks, alkaline vegan snacks. We're going to Sabian Social Sunday. We're going to film some mukbangs. We're meeting up with two of my subscribers that I met. If I can try everything, I will. Maybe next time we can bring some cookbooks with us. But this time we're just here to consume. And I'm, oh. I'm so hungry. Oh, oh, oh. I just had a bite of this leftovers. It's Bowman Alfredo sauce with alkaline vegan sausage, grilled yellow squash and yellow zucchini, cherry tomatoes and fresh basil. And it's so good. It's crazy how good it is. Mmm, grill flavor. The basil is insane. And these sausages, mmm, oh my god. Uh, this is probably better than what we're about to go eat. No offense. We should sell it. Am I that hungry or is this the best thing I've ever had? We should go let people try a bite at the rest stop. Wow. What a good color. All right, two hours left to go till Chicago. And we stopped five times or something. So I've had enough driving and my hand is cramped in this cloth from holding the steering wheel. And I can't wait to get there and eat. Yeah. Look at this. Kong Dong. Oh, there's BBQ chickens, Korean. No, the speed limit changed. There's cum on the window. yellow cheese sauce, uh, pasta sauce, white cheese sauce, strawberry jam, chili verde sauce, buffalo sauce, plenty barbecue. So it's a lot. You have many options. And then these are strawberry and walnut cookies. We also have blueberry and walnut, but they sold out. And then we have a caramel apple pie. This is pretty much what it looks like on the inside. And um, some different kinds of seasonings, all-purpose chili, taco. Salt-free Italian. Are you salty sea salt for everything? Okay. Because that's the best salt. Definitely. <laughs> yes. Um. But yeah, everything is alkaline and delicious. I use sea moss in my sauces okay. and dandelion powder. Nice. Um, yeah, and then over there we have the fried mushrooms, which is a mixture of the oyster mushrooms and baby bella, and we use uh, spelt. Salt and chickpea for the batters. Awesome. And we have some waffles. Um, they're a little darker because of the agave, but um, these are spelt waffles. And then we have agave powder, um, the regular agave, uh, strawberry jam, and tea. This is called lion's water, uh, but it's watermelon and dandelion. And then this one is the elder cherry, which is elderberries and cherry juice. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> wow. 
The music is too loud, so I might have to do the audio later and do this, make it a voiceover. That's really good. It's peppery, it's salty. It's a little bit crunchy, but um, yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. 100% compostable straw, elder cherry. Ooh, good. I can taste the elderberry, but it's not too overpowering. I'll leave that, I'll save that one for good actually. Mm -hmm. chicken or uh, whatever. Wow. Satisfying. It's really crunchy. Mm. This is good too. Really good. Let me try just the waffle. That's good. That's good. Oh my god. I want more. I just wanna. Let me try the cookie. What are they? Date walnut or something? Massively thick cookie. Mmm. Strawberry? Strawberry walnut. Tastes like a Nutri-Grain bar, but better. Watermelon dandelion. Watermelon dandelion. I taste the watermelon. I don't taste dandelion, but that's fine. It tastes good. Look at this up close. Baklava and apple pie in one. No, this is almost good. Mm. Pie is good. Somebody complimented my Got Alkaline shirt. Mm. 
Mm. Thinking about ordering more. We need food for tomorrow. We're out of town and don't have food for or a kitchen. Uh, Michelle's bringing some food. All right, now's my chance while wow, there's no music on. I'm probably gonna have to fix the audio, but it's pretty happening here. Check it out. Oh, nice. Are you selling these plants too? I am, but I am accepting um, donations for them because I'm going to New York Fashion Week this year and I am trying to, you know, raise funds for it. So these are tomatoes right there and then the ones in the front um, are okra. Okra? Okay. All right, we're outside this. Is this a good shot of this? Let me see. It's a good one with Dr. Sabi's face in the background. So we're outside the Sabian Social Sunday and it's really loud in there so I can't film talking. But it's a good vibe and the food is good. So what else matters? But wow, what a great sky and a nice day. And this architecture is awesome. Right next to Kids Health and the Gym Sports Place. This is right there. They're doing a sound meditation and they're filming something and I'm gonna film them filming. Can you even hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Oh, they're filming a music video. I taste the mango and I taste the sea moss too, actually. It tastes powerful. So I'm Lux Fortune. I make hair care products. I have a nourishing oil that is So that's just a uh, seeded grape juice? With or... elderberry and burdock. Oh, okay, awesome. Ooh, nice. Oh, and elderberry and burdock. Of course, it's splash and quinoa. And what, what is in the other one? And then watermelon, agave, and key lime. Oh, nice. Awesome. Do you want to be in the video? Like, do you want to say something? Remember to love yourself, give yourself grace, and give thanks. For those who paved the way for spirits like ours to thrive in this lifetime. We have to pay respect. Come a long way. Ashe. Thanks for coming, y'all. Oh my goodness.
heard that it gets really fun after the official event is over, but I am leaving because we gotta, our Airbnb is uh, in another state. That was fun, but uh, I got some uh, spring water in a glass bottle from Mario because he saw that uh, I had an alkaline water in a plastic and he upgraded me. So that that's very kind. I love the community out here and that's what I remember about Chicago when I came out here years ago, like 15 years ago, is that uh, the people are very welcoming. Even though it's a big city, it's, it's very friendly once you find the pocket of people. I feel like they're very embracing. Mario is gonna give me some kind of root, some kind of bitter. I guess the name in Spanish is just bitter. So I'm excited to try that. And it's supposed to be the most powerful detoxing herb they have. So we'll see. Uh, he brought that back from Honduras. So I'm excited to try it and I'm thankful to get the opportunity. So my, I'm reflecting as I drive away and I think, not that it's a competition because it isn't, but I think that was better than North Carolina event. It was very cozy and although the music was too loud, that's just because I was trying to film. I would definitely go there every Sunday if I lived here. I had some really good conversations and I wanted to record some of them because uh, we were talking about Honduras and Mario was telling me some interesting stuff about Dr. Sebi and his family and just really cool stories. We'll come back again when I have some cookbooks to sell. That would be the spot to go try at least. What do you think? What do you think looked like the best food from the day? And would you come out here and try this? It's the last Sunday of every month. So if you're around Chicago or if you wanna make a trip for alkaline food, I would recommend it. It's free to enter and they're good people and good food. I mean, what could what more could you want? Which one is this? Watermelon something? Mm -hmm. Itadakimasu. It's green. It's red. It's green light. Very watermelon juice-ish. Mmm. I do taste a hint of something, but it's mostly straight up watermelon, which is good. Oh, that's refreshing. Wow, what a good sunset.